Can you recall a feeling of being out of your comfort zone? Maybe your first time going abroad or your first day in the university, surrounded by unknown faces, aware of the fact you didn't know what was going to happen. Do you remember that excitement, that fear? That was what I felt when I came to Germany to the first youth exchange of my life. 25 young people from Bosnia, Croatia, Serbia, Kosovo, Germany, Greece, Israel and Palestine came here to participate in a project called Make Music Not War. Gathering people from these conflict countries in the same place for 10 days can lead to unexpected results. My name is Amna and this is my youth exchange. I am from Bosnia and in my home country I work as a music teacher. This job allows me to do what I love the most, to make music. But here in Germany I felt like a learner myself. From the very beginning our life here had a completely new routine. We divided into bands and we started to present and to rehearse songs from our home countries. One more thing we had to do was to perform in public. Yes, to perform in public, what I fear the most. One of the main activities on every youth exchange are national evenings, when participants cook and share their national food and make a presentation about their home country. In our project, there were a lot of people from the Balkans. For a long time, we were one single country, Yugoslavia. One thing we all share is the war, which happened 25 years ago. I experienced the insane cruelty. I remember the dead bodies lying on the ground in front of my house. I was just four years old and within a year I couldn't say a single word and even later I wasn't able to speak properly. It took me time, patience, effort and help to start again. Now, the war in the Balkans is over. We're here in Germany, sharing the kitchen, cooking together. But in countries like Israel and Palestine, war is still happening today. We don't want to show About them both. these things. We want to show no, them right. how I think and how you think. So for me, when I hear of a cultural night, it's, it's also, it's my perception, it's my, the way I experience it, is that we, that, that, um, it's a choice to talk about conflict, but the choice is to to see how we unite through food, because people like food. Well, as I talk to it's true, okay. and there's lots of differences, but there's also 
We can let find them judge. similarities. Let them judge. Let me talk and you talk and they judge. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to fight instead of them. Let me talk alone and okay. you talk alone. Let them judge. I think what okay. Rami means, he doesn't want to only stress on the differences, but just going up there and just uh, speaking about only the similarities and what unites us would be actually a lie. So I think the is There is no end for this discussion. Yes. I remember struggling with my own words, my own language, trying to express my feelings. A long time ago, I had to relearn how to speak. It wasn't easy, but I made it. Now I'm here and I have to do it again. I have to relearn how to deal with something that scares me. But luckily, I don't feel alone. When I was 16, they were doing musical circles for healing, for uniting with Jews around my area. And there I met a woman who's parents are Holocaust survivors. She's from the US and her parents are Polish and German and I don't know, like another mixture. I started this band with this woman and we started making peace music together in Arabic and in Hebrew. Uh, just translating songs, writing our own, mixing, just to unite people together. If, if an Israeli or a Palestinian would listen to, the, to this music, they would relate to it and they would not be afraid of the other side anymore. Um, so this is what's happening in Israel, it's going to happen. second sentence they go in with her on the second voice nice. and the third one I sing alone and the, the fourth we go in with the second voice yes. like together ah, and then good. and then we will sing it again but we will see let's try it once sometimes it's just easier to avoid stressful situations but here in Germany, maybe for the very first time, I realized it was time to stop avoiding my fear. I didn't think about what should have happened. At some moment, you stop caring about succeeding. You only care about trying. Oh, <laughs> 
guys. As we know, one of the main objective is to create a peace song and we have to record it that in the studio. And that is like in three days from now, from now, you know? How far is the peace song from now? And how do you feel about creating the song? But we still haven't started. Uh, well, I started yesterday, I mean, last evening. I have a melody and I started to compose on it. I can play it for you if you want to listen to it. Time flies here, days have passed by, and we have managed to write our peace song. A song whose seed was planted in a group where people from Israel and Palestine worked together. For the very first time, some of us experience what it's like to be in a studio, when your small contribution becomes part of something big. Everybody felt relieved as recording the song was one of the main objectives of the project. As for me, I knew that my biggest challenge would be soon, in Bremen, when we would play in a club in front of a big audience. Now I think that life is so unpredictable. Just a month ago, I couldn't imagine myself being here, in a foreign country, participating in a youth exchange. I couldn't imagine myself singing. Before the project, I had never held a microphone in my hands. Now I look around and see all these people playing and singing together. It's hard to believe that just a week ago we were complete strangers to each other. I don't know why, but I suddenly feel sad. Maybe I'm starting to miss home. Maybe I'm already missing the friends I met here. Or maybe I just don't want to lose that part of me that I discovered here, the one that can deal with her fears. But one thing I know for sure is that I've changed in a better way. And it doesn't matter what will happen tomorrow in Bremen.
Good evening, everyone. I just want to say thank you for everyone for being here. We are making a peace party tonight. 50 young people, young musicians from nine conflict countries from around the world gathered in Germany to make music and not war. We're going to jam a little bit tonight. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun with us. Uh, there are a lot of international here, so if you want to stop by, say hi. You're welcome to join us and have a nice evening. The rooms are empty. The house looks like nothing ever happened here, but we all know it's not true. I just hope we will not forget the things we've learned here. Maybe you would like to know who I was on the project, but does it really matter? The truth is that in my place could be anyone. My name is Amna and this was my youth exchange. Got this gift to this world So rapper, discover I'm false, a lover you find secrets never told Each one has got this gift to this world To this world, to this world, to this world I believe in unity, community Build a better society I believe in humanity, insanity 